we have arrived. What is up, Goon Squad? We made it here to Cove Park. It took us about two and a half hours to get here, but we're here. We're picking up the build. My brother went inside to get the paperwork filled out. That is a clear title. It's gonna be one of those builds that we always love to do no matter what, so we couldn't miss the opportunity. So we went ahead and bid it on it, won it. Clean title, all that good stuff. No paperwork, bull crap. We don't have to file no paperwork. We just gotta fix the Jeep and sell the Jeep or build the Jeep, whatever we wanna we do. Fix the trailer and stuff, get it ready for the Jeep. There she is. This was a stolen recovery. So it's got some Plasti Dip on it, so that's a good thing. That stuff's gonna peel off real nice. Um, it's kind of filthy on the inside. Radio stolen, won't start. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, not too rusty. We'll show you guys a little bit more once we get home. So we just picked up the Jeep. It is a stolen recovery, guys, so it's got a few mechanical issues that we gotta fix. The Jeep does not start currently, but that shouldn't be an issue for us to fix. We know a bunch of places that got parts. We got the junkyard nearby, so we're gonna have fun fixing this one. We're gonna make it look good again. We're gonna make it look brand new, and we're probably just gonna buy and sell this one. Flip it. Just gonna flip it. So we're gonna fix it up, make it look good, and then just resell it. All right, guys, we made it back home. We're about to unload the Jeep. And we're gonna give you guys a little bit of information on what's going on next. Guys, the craziest thing just occurred. Found the tracker and- So he started getting under there, under the dashboard because this was a stolen vehicle. And we found some sort of ruby or diamond. I don't know, I don't know if that's real. I mean, it's in, it's like a- a little nice. container let's pull this out how would you check if this is like you'd have it, i guess you'll get a jeweler to check it out what do you guys think i don't know what that is but it was up under there where the where tracker was it, was it was where this tracker was it was like on the side like mm -hmm. like a magnetized to it and i was like what is all this junk they did break the lock which is right there um they probably broke what is that called that Immobilizer? No, this thing that spins right here. Oh, the clock spring? Yeah, they probably broke that. Easy to change. So they pretty much just stole all the speakers out of this thing. Oh, turn, look, turn signals work, so that means the ignition is on. You know? So something to do with the ignition. Look, headlights turn on. So this glass is also busted out on this hard top. I already made a, do a quarter. Made a quarter. We might make some more off of this. <laughs> might have, yeah, what we're going to get that checked out. That might be valuable. That'd be awesome if it's worth more than the Jeep. That'd be crazy. I wonder if the, this is a tracker, right? State Farm tracker? Yeah, I guess so. It was and like, I guess it was right here. Why the heck Why the heck did they have a tracker in this thing? I don't know. Maybe because they had a... People stole it. Immature. I don't like that stuff right there. It was right here. Why would you leave it in the Jeep? You know, it's still it's still working. It's tracking. That's probably how they got caught. But they didn't find this. Was that like hidden? Yeah. It was like tucked behind the main wire. That's crazy. Uh, what if the thief that stole this was a thief of jewelry and stuff? Because you got to be pretty smart to hot. I want to clean this thing up. It's like dirty. You got to be pretty smart to hot wire this thing. So I think, uh, yeah, I think that might be something valuable. Yeah, and let's uh, look at ask about this this was inside the yeah Jeep. what do you guys think this is this looks like a hot wire tool or something well, if I don't used know. a hot wire i don't there's, know there's no words lettering on it it was just sitting there like this maybe they did something to it to get it started but there ain't no like crank so you know something i don't something, understand but... something small let's see there's an ignition well, we'll figure it out we're gonna pull this what if it's a fuse off. All right, so we finally yanked that key out. We're not sure if this is the exact key. It's that probably not from this key. Like, it looks like a new key, so it might not be from it. Go ahead and cut that off. We're going to check the doors. Yeah, if it don't work for the doors, this key don't got a chip or anything. It won't start this. Let's thing. go to the rear trunk lid. See if it opens it up. Oh, that's oh. it. Awesome. I'm out of 
They might have cut this key or something. Yeah, I mean, you can get keys made easily. Does it? It doesn't go in really good. It's like right. really tough to go in. They got in here. They were drinking. Oh, they were drinking. And they stole all his. He had sub woofer in here and there. That's why the back seat is gonna probably had a big sub. I mean, it's just a Jeep. It can't be that valuable. Go through all that trouble, but I guess speakers are valuable for them. A criminal is a criminal, you know. You do what you do what you got to do. We're gonna probably take all this crap out of here, clean it up, yeah. start peeling off all this uh, plastic dip, Whatever and then is. work on getting it cranked up. It might be something simple, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna figure it out. It shouldn't be an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this hard top, and we're gonna get at see if we can find anything else, cause it looks like there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So we're gonna dig into it. There's like a pound of weed in there. Doesn't it smell like weed in there or something? I don't know. <laughs> Marijuana. All right, guys. So we're going to start going through all this, seeing what we need to keep and what not, what we need to toss. A lot of glass in here. Here's the carpets. We need to clean them. They even stole the sub in here. Dang it. That sucks. We're going to have to look for that. Typewriter. The guy was clearly a technician. <laughs> Jumper cables, dude. You know we always need... These are like the durable ones. I think we got all the carpets, so we're yeah. going to try to detail that stuff. We're going to pressure wash all that. We're probably going to make it look brand new again. We need we're to clean all this. these bars. They ripped out this bottom part for the key. Yeah, we'll probably go to the junkyard try to find all this stuff. Man, they totally wanted to steal this thing. Like that. Uh, something in here. Something in there. We've been waiting. What is it? Oh, cash. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Owner's manual. We got, got some tools. A funnel. Got, we got a new funnel awesome. for our garage. Awesome. I think this goes inside the glove box. Yeah, go for Dude, it. Dude, I think we got a gun. <laughs> nice wooden antique screwdriver. More carpets for y'all. We got a lot of glass back here. Nice screwdriver. You yeah, can't, man. You can't hardly getting, ever find Our toolbox is just getting bigger and bigger. Hook up our guy's Stereo City. What is this? What is it? A freaking crack lighter, dude. Does it work? That that's that's kind of stupid, bro. Try that. Try lighting that. How do you work this thing? This this Jeep was a clean title. Minor dents and scratches, mechanical, and uh, I looked up the VIN report on this, and it didn't, nothing popped up. So we are gonna clean up this ruby or whatever this is, some sort of stone, and we're gonna take it to the jeweler possibly get it appraised or see what it is <laughs> see what it's worth you know i don't know what see? if it ain't worth what if it's just one of these bedazzled fake diamonds <laughs> i mean it could be but whatever i don't care all right guys so we're gonna go to the jewelry store and with that ruby we're gonna see how much it's worth we're just trying to see what it is it may be fake but i don't know it doesn't hurt to try so we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what happens you got the ruby yep all right guys we'll catch you there which one should we go to? Brody. Brody's been here since uh, 1937. Looks like a garment. Yeah. I'm gonna try this place out. It looks like a garnet. Garnet? Mm -hmm. What are those worth? Th that's a less expensive stuff. This is basically an 8x6 millimeter stone. How'd I hit the jackpot? So, that's not my thing. If it were diamonds, we do that. But we right. do it for insurance. Anyway, that's information right. on it right yeah. there. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just found out what it was. It seems to just be a garnet, uh, January birdstone. So, uh, how much is it worth? The prices range from 500 a carat to a thousand to two thousand. Yeah, them guys in there are high class, dude. They got like fat diamonds that are the cheapest diamond ring in there is like 20k. We're gonna pull out both of the seats uh, so we can pressure wash them. We're gonna make them look brand new. And now we're gonna vacuum the inside of the tub here. Vacuum and clean it. There's mold growing right here. We are going to start pressure washing this Jeep. We're going to try to see if this plastic dip will come off with the pressure nozzle. And also, we're going to hit a little bit of the interior here. We have made a mess, guys. 
Don't know how we are gonna clean that up. But all the plastic dip came off. The criminal went with red the first time. And then he went with some kind of tan looking and Then color. he, he kind of thought about it. He's like, I'm in a Jeep. I ought to make it look like a Jeep. Make it look like I'm a legit Jeeper. So he went with the Sahara uh, desert color. All right guys, so we're taking off the doors because we are about to pressure wash the inside of this tub. <laughs> We're gonna try it out. I think we might have figured it out. Go ahead, hook it up. Well, we finally got the ignition to work. Battery's dead. All right, guys, I got my key right here. They did break this little piece right here. It goes to the back of this, which cranks the Jeep. So they cracked it. So they just put this in there. Got Hold in the clutch. It looks like it's on empty. So we're putting in some fuel in it. What are you saying? Real low on fuel. Let's see the heat works. Check if that radio works. Yeah. The clutch is probably out. If it's running fine. Then you can just throw it in the gear. And nothing. It's kind of sketchy putting it in first. It's a big old risk. But as you can see, I don't even have the clutch in. When I do put the clutch in, still nothing. I tried it in all the four low, four high, still nothing. So it's got to be the clutch, right? Yeah. Let me know guys what you think. That's a wrap for today. We got the new build. We figured out uh, that the Jeep needs probably a new clutch and stuff. Uh, we took the interior out, cleaned it off. Needs a few miscellaneous like speakers and stuff, which we are going to probably go to get at a junkyard tomorrow. Yep. And uh, other than that, we will probably throw a new paint job on there, make it look fresh, touch it up, maybe lift, we'll see. And uh, just flip it real quick. Yep. trying to build up on some cash for our garage so that's what we're trying to do if you're new to the channel be sure to like and subscribe turn on your post notifications because we got a lot more coming for this channel guys also be sure to check out the earlier builds we got five builds now so be sure to check out the white rubicon be sure to check out the f-250 the black oscar mike the blue rubicon and also this new build also go check out goonsquad.com get you a hat get you a shirt Represent the goon squad. You're all family here goons Working hard and not scared to get your hands dirty if you guys want to support us check out the GoFundMe We are very close to our goal. We're just halfway. We're at that halfway point So guys be sure to check that out feel free to become a patreon and support us there. We'll greatly appreciate it We can't do it without you guys these videos are made possible by you guys. So thank you stay tuned and we'll catch you guys tomorrow